We are visiting the T100 today. It's been a while, but we're going over something very important, and it's the AC condenser fan. For some reason, Toyota never uh, put a condenser fan for the AC on the T100. I don't know if it was just me, certain years, but I know there was a TSB for uh, Tacomas in like 2014, 2015, somewhere in there. They didn't have them either. They just had the, the cooling fan, the clutch fan here. Um, but when the temperature is over 75, 80 degrees, the truck doesn't blow cold air until you get moving and then air starts passing through here. Um, so there's actually a TSB on the matter and a Toyota fan and wiring harness and all, this whole thing that um, you can do in Tacomas. This is gonna be simpler, uh, a lot cheaper. That's using a small pusher fan. So we'll go over all that stuff, how to wire it and uh, how to tap into this specifically because there is no, um, there's no AC relay, uh, nothing that turns the condenser on and obviously there's no fan, so there's no fan relay as well. So we'll go over all the wiring, all that stuff. Here, this is actually a, um, a harness. It just comes with um, the black and the red and then it goes into the, the factory connector here. So you don't have to cut this wiring and re-splice it. You can just plug right in and there's your harness. And you can do everything nice at the, um, the battery with your relay and everything. But we'll talk about that. We'll, we'll talk about hooking up a relay, how to do that, where to tap into to get this fan working when it should. And uh, secondly, I put mine over here because this was the tougher install on this side. So it's pretty tight, um, but as you can see, it fits perfectly under here and right under this AC line here. And I was able to feed in my zip ties on each corner, relatively simple, um, not even removing anything. You can just feed it through and then pull it. And this is one with the, the condenser. This is not going anywhere. It is on there. I never had good luck with the ones that you pull through and like, um, it holds it on here through the fins. It just, uh, my experience, uh, they just end up getting loose and then the fan kind of wiggles and there's a gap and it's no good. So zip ties always work. Just make sure to zip tie it through um, one of the bars here to get a good uh, clamp on it. You don't want to go like through just the fins because it'll crush all the fins. Um, if need be then, the bigger side, the passenger side, I can easily stick another fan over here if needed. But we'll start with one, see how that works. I'm guessing it should be fine. Um, I did skip some steps, obviously, because this plastic trim is already off. But it's pretty simple to remove. First, there's two the, the side marker lights. There's just two screws that hold those in. Uh, I think they're right there, actually. Two Phillips screws hold the side markers in, and this whole thing is just locked in to the, uh, this, I think, yeah, it's probably broken. Uh, so it's locked into here with these little clamps. I don't know why this one stayed in there, but, so you just have to work your way around and kind of loosen all these um, clips and then the whole thing comes out easily. So um, this is on there. Next step, we'll talk about what you have to tap into inside the car. And then we'll talk about the relay that we need and the wiring. Um, but it's a pretty simple, uh, straightforward process. And this is, this is for any Toyota that has AC and does not have a fan in front of the condenser. I think this is the part number here, 301-00374. Pretty sure, Spall, you can get it for, I don't know, 80, 100 bucks or something on uh, Amazon, eBay. I wanna say. Now, the important part is behind the glove box. This just pops out. It's not like the newer cars where there's like 100 screws and everything. It's literally just a little plastic tab and then you pop it off the plastic and it comes out. So here is our AC computer on top. I already have it unplugged right there. Now, if we look at the factory wiring diagram, we are going to find the AC amplifier in this lower left corner. 
and one of those wires is for it engages the clutch so the clutch on the compressor is right here so if you look it is white black uh, it changes to black white actually at the compressor but coming out of the AC amplifier it is a black white wire uh, because the white black is obviously something else so we're looking for black white wire pin 7 and that is going to the AC clutch so I can see it I've already pulled it out of there a little bit um, the black wire with the white stripe right in the middle of the connector so what we're going to do is we're going to run a wire solder it crimp it whatever attach it to that and then run it um, probably that way and then pop it out somewhere under the driver's side into the engine bay and that's going to trigger our relay okay i'm assuming we're going to pop out somewhere maybe in this corner by that grommet down there behind the clutch reservoir uh, i don't know if there's anything else down that way but here is our relay so essentially what a relay does is it isolates the fan circuit from the AC computer and the clutch. Um, why don't you want to hook this directly up to um, the AC computer and the clutch? Well, this is a pretty high draw item. I don't know what amperage it runs, but um, you don't want the shorting out. You don't want it um, uh, overloading anything inside the AC computer or the clutch on the compressor. So we're isolating it. We're basically using um, the 12 volts from the AC computer that, that triggers the clutch on the compressor. That's going to be one of these smaller uh, trigger wires here. That's going to turn on the relay. By turning on the relay then we're pulling positive voltage from the battery, directly from the battery to the fan. So it's totally isolated from the car and the computer and it's literally the fans getting its voltage from here and ever since everything is right here it's super convenient so our relay can go up here we're gonna add a fuse and then we're gonna tie all this together and we'll probably stick this right on the battery negative ground because it's right here as well um, so we'll talk about that later what exactly um, uh, wires to hook up and the colors and all that but that's that and I'm also gonna change out the horns because they're really sad they sound pretty terrible and they're falling apart so it's kind of like while you're in here while this is all apart and we're gonna add this new very heavy horn here that's basically an electronic horn uh, I'm guessing I'll probably drill through the bumper right here and then mount it right there so that the sound can come out of this uh, vent area you know something like that but up further hidden and uh, this also uses a relay so we're going to do the same thing we're going to run the wiring up and over and we have a second relay for the horn because the tiny factory wire here for the horn uh, might not be sufficient to power um, the horn and the amplifier that comes with it so again everything's apart we have two things to do in the same area we'll knock them both out so i'm going to get the horn mounted this is already mounted and i'm going to run the wire like i mentioned earlier inside and then pop it out and uh, really the last part is just going to be going over the wiring um, how to wire it where it goes you know make it clean tape it zip tie it whatever just keep everything out of the way all right to wrap up uh got it in you can hear there's a ton of airflow here. If I grab a piece of paper, I can show you. So a ton of airflow, and that turns on only when the AC is on. So if we shut the AC off, fan goes off. Click it on, you can hear it go on. Nice. So I don't know if you can hear the fan now, but AC's on, AC's off, fan's off, which is perfect, just how uh, we want it to be. And a quick rundown here. So if you have a typical relay like this, uh, 
Um, the colors are probably all the same, but your battery power is going to be blue. You'd think it'd be red, but it's blue. This goes to the fuse battery. The white wire is the trigger from the computer inside the glove box, like I showed you. Black here is just ground, and then red goes to the fan itself. So very easy, very simple. I'll clean all this up later off camera. I just wanted to show um, how this works. If you want to get yours going, you'll have to watch a 30 minute video on how to do it. Uh, it's done now. So if you have any questions, let me know. But this should fix the AC problem at high temperatures. So your AC should blow cold now at all times. If it doesn't, I'll add a second fan, but I'm guessing this one's gonna do the trick. So thanks for watching. See ya.